Dude, that thing looks way bigger in person. Look at that. Holy cow. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Tacoma Beast channel, where, as you all know, it's all about the taco. Today, we're in Hawaii. We finally made it to Hawaii, and we're gonna be doing a video walk around Eddie's Tacoma. I can't wait to show you this truck. It's amazing. Hi, my name is Eddie. I'm 26 years old. I'm from the Big Island of Hawaii, and this is my 2021 SR5 Toyota Tacoma. When you got this Tacoma, was it completely bone stock or did you kind of buy it already somewhat modified? No, so this was a, this was a clean purchase right from the dealer. Did you already have a vision for how it looks now or did you just went to buy a truck because you needed one? Uh, no, so I had a truck already, uh, but this, this was a, the opportunity presented itself uh, to purchase a new one. So in my mind, I always had had an idea of, of what I wanted to do. So this was always uh, something that I had in mind um, from a very long time ago. For this truck being a 14 inch lift, I was expecting it to be way rougher. And it's actually smooth for the amount of lift that, that he's got on this truck. Like, this is an insane ride. What was the first mod that you did to it? I actually uh, bought all my parts before I had the truck. Um, so I knew I was, I was gonna get a new truck. So when, when I put it all together, everything went all in at once. <laughs> all, all the suspension parts, all the tires, all the, the bulletproof kit, which is the lift itself, the, the Dirt King long travel, the shocks, everything to get it lifted pretty much. Tires are, are Fury mud terrains. They are 42 by 1550 and the wheels are hostile 24 by 14s. Initially, this is, this is what I wanted to do, but I, I, I am kind of leaning more towards a smaller wheel and tire setup for the future. It was meant to be just a, a, a show kind of truck where you just park it at meets and have people look at it and that's it. Um, that's why I went with this wheel and tire setup, which is not, like you said, it's not really ideal for off-roading, but at the time that, that's what I was into. But as I, you know, as I started to drive it around, I, I, you know, people were telling me, you know, let's, let's, go, let's go camping on the weekend and it would require going off-road. And I was like, well, I want to drive my, my truck, no? So, so I, I, I started driving it and it was just, it was causing me a lot of trouble. And that's when I started to change up the suspension and, and really get it to perform how, how it really should. So at first it started off as like a 20 inch lift. Um, somewhere around there and 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 everything was just stretched out the the, the coilovers were cranked up all the way um, And it was just the, the CV angles were all wrong um, So it was causing me a lot of trouble. I ripped a couple boots here and there for the CV boots um, And that's when I started to realize that it wasn't really you know capable of off-roading So I started to to fix it up little little by little, you know getting rid of I, I lowered it uh, first of all and I started to change um, some other um, suspension components that, that were, you know, not in the right place or that shouldn't be uh, uh, how they were initially. You mentioned that there came a point where you really had to build it yourself because no shop would take it in. Right. When you were talking about that, were you talking about fabricating this whole spindle right here? Uh, the, the, the mount for the tie rod, yeah. So the, the spindle itself was, our, uh, was already a part of the, uh, the bulletproof lift kit. You know, it was meant for a stock. Um, stock lower and upper control arms. Um, so when you put the long travel kit, you know it, it, it changes your your, your angle, your the, the the amount of down travel you can go um, changes, and now that that tire rod wouldn't um, wouldn't work anymore. You had to modify. It. I had to modify. It. I had to cut off the old mount and, and make myself a, a a new mount that that would work for the for the long travel. And then I also reinforced the whole entire spindle because on its own it looked a little too um, um, weak. And I have heard, you know, some other people saying that they that, that spindle has kind of started to bend over time. Yeah. Um, so I, I took I took the time to reinforce it as well too, just to prevent that from happening. Yeah. What steering rack is this? That's a, a modified um, Tundra rack. Solo Motorsports um, makes them. They basically take a Tundra rack and they modify the shaft. Pretty sure they bump up the line pressure as well. It's just a beefed up steering rack to help with the with the tires. And it's helped a lot, it's helped a lot. <laughs> At first you would see, I would take videos of me, you know, driving down um, a bumpy road and my tires would like, they would swivel. Um, and like this, it doesn't, not, not anymore. And then you have a long travel kit attached to what size coilovers are these? They're basically a, a, a stock length shock 
so like a stock Tacoma length one and they just add a, a very long <laughs> space around it um, that's basically all it is um, which is not really ideal either <laughs> I did not know that King did that King did that for you yeah King did that, oh, that um, so but but uh, you know over time I would like to you know change that to, to like a dual rate um, oh, which is it's probably, yeah it would be a lot better than this that's the cool thing about like what you're doing it's trial and error like you're trying right. this out and you're you're trying to make a 14 inch suspension work mm -hmm. and you're getting closer to most of the guys out there that have done it check this out so you know how when we have to fit 35 inch tires on our trucks we have to cut the body mount at least do a body mount chop or just a body mount relocation he has left his completely intact and it works right like it's freaking crazy it, it rubs a little bit but it's crazy to see all the different ways that you can go about building you know a Tacoma do you have any like experience behind mechanics right so uh, no I don't have any <laughs> experience actually most of the stuff that I've done I, I've just uh, it's just from seeing other people do it or, or just doing my own research but at first you know it, it was the, that was the goal for me in the beginning you know so when it came out of the shop that's how I wanted it to be from there, I, I did tear it apart at once, um, completely. I took everything off. By yourself? Yeah, by myself. <laughs> I took all, all the, all, pretty much the whole front suspension came off at one point in my garage because it wasn't, it, there's just, the angles were wrong on my, my tie rod angles were wrong. So it was giving me a lot of issues um, on the road. I was getting a lot of bump steer because of liability issues. Nobody wanted to help me fix it. So I had to take it upon myself to fix it. I didn't have any experience welding. <laughs> So since nobody wanted to, to help me with it, I, I, I went to Home Depot, I bought myself a welder and I practiced for a couple of weeks, you know, welding a couple of things here and there until I felt a little comfortable. And then I, I tore the suspension down. I cut off all the mounts. I made my own mounts um, and I welded them on there and they've been running <laughs> ever since. <laughs> when I decided I wanted to, you know, start to jump it a little bit, it wasn't, it wasn't as bad. It felt, it felt normal to me. For me, it's, it's, uh, it was more of a, I, I like doing this kind of stuff. It's more of like a hobby for me. It's something I enjoy. So tearing it apart, having little issues here and there to me is, you know, it's exciting. <laughs> now on the way over here, I got to experience the ride. And I'm surprised at being able to ride on a Tacoma that is lifted, the height that this truck is lifted, and to experience the ride that I experienced, which was smooth for what this is. Right, so the, the, the front suspension has been through a lot. I've focused pretty much ever since I lifted it to now, revalving my shocks, um, all the my tie rod angles, uh, all, all that stuff. So the rear end, I haven't really touched it, apart from doing a, a shackle flip. There's still a lot of work to do in, in the rear. And, and, and that's the thing with this truck, that it's not, it's not really finished. It's more of like an ongoing build. So when I lifted it, 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 it was kind of like a like the, the start to the build. So the front end is, is is nice and soft, nice and comfortable, and the rear end needs needs some work. And that's what I'm doing, just slowly adding things on to it until I get it right, pretty much. Now, in order to spin these tires, you haven't done anything to the engine, right? No. You had to. You must have done the re gears. Yeah. So I did uh, 529. It's got 529 nitro nitro gears. Um, apart from that, there's there's not much in there. It's just a stock engine with a SMB air filter. <laughs> Here in Hawaii, it's more, I'd say, laid back. So our driving is not really that aggressive. <laughs> I don't feel like the engine is struggling as much. Um, and if it's something that down the road breaks, then <laughs> then I just get a new one, you know, what I mean? I'll upgrade. And that's, that's, that's the fun thing about it. If you break something, um, I don't see it as a downfall or something bad. It's more of, you know, something exciting that, that you learn from and that you, along the way, you, you have fun doing it. What's next for this build? Well, I would like to finish the, the rear end. I'm planning on doing some sort of um, four link. What I want to do requires me to remove the gas tank or relocate it. Um, that's why it's kind of taking me a little bit longer than, than normal. Since I'm trying to do it myself, it's, it's just the process of figuring out how to mount it on there. Do you plan to ever engine swap it? Maybe to others, you know, it might, it might, it might not be what they like. They're, you know, they like more powerful things. Um, but to me, it's, it's, it's all right. So that's why I haven't put no supercharger in it. That's why I haven't done anything to it because I, I, I would like to get the truck to, to run um, smooth first before, before I do that. Uh, the, the only thing in my mind right now, it would be a, a supercharger. And, and that, that would be like, like the pro charger. That's one I've been really looking into. The average lift size is like 12 inches here. 
Uh, why do you think people in the island do that? Because there, since there isn't that many trails, um, any of these trucks can get you wherever you want to go on the island. I can go camping on the weekend, I can go to a beach, I can go up the mountains and it'll take me everywhere I need to go with, with this truck. So. Hey guys, if you like my build uh, and you want to continue seeing uh, the process of my build, um, you can follow me at uh, Eddie4Rivera. I'm on Instagram or TikTok. All right, fellas, that about wraps it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time we release a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.